Hey guys, here's a quick comparison between our shifter for the 901, 915, and 930 transmission compared to stock. And so we're gonna be breaking it down a little bit into detail and see, so that you can see how it actually looks inside of a car with our centering screen, our ball bearings, and so you can see that how precision those shifts are. Also, we're gonna be breaking down a little bit, getting into the shift coupler that we offer with all of our sales for the shifter also. I'm in a Porsche 911 from 1983 and I want to show you the stock shifter, the throws and the amount of play that's going on. These, This one is with a brand new bushings all swapped just a month ago. So that's the throws. That's the throws and now look at the play. So first off, it bounces around, there's no centering plane at all. Forward and back, that's the play before even getting the gears. Bouncing around, spaghetti. This thing's like rowing a boat. Dude, and then look at the play after it gets inside gear. So I'm in gear, look at this. The side to side, I mean, am I in first gear almost? Look at this. This is in gear. It's the, it's the play in the linkage combined with the shifter. All right, so after we showed you the stock shifter, now we want to see uh, how our shifter compares to it. So you can see it centers it automatically. This is a 930 with a 915 transmission in it. And so you can see that this is the softer spring option. This is the two millimeter on each side. So it's dual two, meter, two millimeter spring self-centering. You can see that it's, it's nice responsive. So if you kind of like the more more softer feel, more of a like more of a classic feel instead of a stiffer feel, then uh, that's it. This one also has an it has an extender knob here, as you can tell. This is there so that he didn't really want the too much of a force or the reduced throw, but he really wanted that precision shifting. So if, if you're really not looking for that uh, short throw as much, it's still reduced, as you can see. Look at my throws there, forward, back, and but it gives it so that it's not too bolt action, but it still gives you that nice precision. It still feels just right. So you can change that throw option with the different shift knobs. We have one coming up, so for an extender, but that's how it is between there. That's how the side to side is with the softer screen option. And it just feels, just feels great going. All right, so this is the comparison between our shift coupler versus the stock shift coupler. So ours, as you can see, it can only move in the up and down uh, axis. And then you see the side to side, I'm trying to wiggle this thing as much as I can. This thing is not moving left to right because it's bolted down. We have a custom bolt that we designed here so that it threads this one and it keeps that all that tight. And then it's run on ball bearings on both sides. So there's no wear whatsoever whenever you shift this. This hooks up to the transmission here, threads in just like a stock fitment threads in this hooks up to the shift rod and then so you can see all that motion is being translated directly compared to the stock this whenever they sell these shift bushings you can see this one is used but whenever they sell these shift bushings they sell in an oval shape so it comes with some of that play look at that and so what happens is that this play this forward and back play this is hooked up to transmission. That's going straight to your tr uh, shifter. So whenever you're moving your shifter, it's really not doing anything to the transmission. It's just moving and bouncing around your shift, your shift lever. And so this, this little bit of a uh, play, the eighth inch, uh, an eighth of an inch uh, play, being translated three, four times over because of the lever height. And now you're getting almost an inch of play or half an inch of play because of that. And you can see that right there. Look at that. That's just terrible. And then it does it side to side too. Look at that side to side. See, so it just has nothing locking it in whatsoever. Ours, we have spacers in here, so look, you can't go side to side or forward and back. So it locks it in exactly where it needs to be. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We really put a lot of effort in this, and then with uh, months of testing, and we brought that ball bearing, that precision that we're known for in our short shifters to the air-cooled market. And so we're excited to release these. Check out the link in the description to get your set right now.